another release of the scene director mod. This time a bit smaller fixes, but hopefully it should help you be a bit more efficient within your mod making. The biggest new thing is that we buff the number of actors you can have. It, the max amount now is 20 actors. Um, but the menu will most likely go outside. It's still possible to use it, but it will go outside and I'm probably not going to fix that within the um, next few releases. Um, the other thing um, which is done is to make it easier if you want to change your models. So you, if you want to change how your pet looks, then that has been approved lit, uh, a bit. So if you now clone an actor, uh, which came down there, and then you add them to the slot. And now the clone, of, of course, is exactly the same as the one you cloned it from. Um, if you now use a different trainer to actually change how they look, like this, you will see a message here, update current actor after switching model. So what happens, GTA actually switches the PED ID, which is the main reference we have to the actor, uh, now we detect that and automatically update it within the menu before you would have to trick a bit back and forth before to get this working. So that should help you be more efficient. Um, then we have a few things related to recording. Um, the first thing I've seen a need for is that uh, it can be hard to place different actors within a car. So I made a function which is a bit hidden, but let's just get an extra here and we'll spot a car or something for them. Let's take um Okay, just a limo. So we've taken a limo spawn it within a very steep hill and this is now actor number two who has this car so now we want to place other actors within this car we then select them we click page up and then the number of the actor we want to uh, teleport them into so since it's number two here we press page up and two and they're automatically placed into the first available seat of the car. And the same thing for a couple of other ones. So it's a quick way of setting up uh, inside this car how you want the actors to have a few multiple actors. So that's a new feature. In addition, if you have a recording, let's make a simple recording with actor number three, whoever that is. We're just going to record that uh, we're walking and the scene setup. Oh, let's just jump outside. And then we'll stop it uh, and teleport back to the start. So we're told back to the start without delete. So now we have a recording. And if we have multiple recordings, we sometimes want to time them according to each other. So now for each recording, you have a recording delay. So, and that delay will basically m mean that the actor will wait uh, this, that amount of time before it starts doing recording. So this allows you, if you run the scene multiple times, you can tweak the starting points for different actors more um, and actually get the effect you want. So this will typically done be in milliseconds. So now we're basically delaying it um, one second um, after the scene has been acted or after you're testing the recording. In addition, the last thing I want to show you is the copy recording to other actors. So whatever, whatever actors who don't have a recording, they can get this recording from this one actor. So it's a kind of... Um, Slightly the same as the uh, firing squad mode, but just for recording. Um, if you do that, you see everyone gets a recording. If they have a recording, it won't be uh, added. And then 
if we then set the scene to active. Well, okay, the cart shouldn't really should put on these brakes before. So everybody's teleporting back to the start location, which will also be copied. Okay, a few of them probably died there. And now they're running the same recording, all of these actors. So you Sorry see they're following each other. And now they are all jumping Jesus down here where we started. Excuse okay, me. so that was what I wanted to show you. I guess the next thing I want to f focus on, which I find time consuming myself, is actually uh, persisting the actors you need for a scene. Um, most likely it will be into a flat file, which you then can load in afterwards. So it won't export the recording, at least not at first, but it will try to get all the actors you have and the different variations you have. Okay, enjoy!